Hey guys, how y'all doing? It's Chris and Jill back again with you guys. We're going live today, so yeah, here we go. So I know, so real quick, we're here today for a quick tidbit. Five reasons why you have a terrible attitude about investing your money, all right? And so I know I've talked to a lot of people my age and younger crowd, and it seems like we're all kind of like, you know, we all want to make make money. We all want to like invest our money, but we kind of don't know how to or where to get started. And then a lot of us have these terrible attitudes about, eh, it's not a big deal. And I'm like, oh my goodness, really? Okay. You know, so people want to, people want to do something, but it's all confusing that they end up doing nothing. Right? So, so real quick. So here's those five terrible, those t reasons for a terrible attitude. Now, the first one is Lack of education. Now, obviously, we don't get taught these things in school about how to manage your own money, how to finance, how to plan for the future. I think they do that for, for a reason. It's on purpose. But nonetheless, it's not a big thing. It's not a lot of education. And our parents don't tend to be there to prioritize that as well for us, too. Two, too much information, right? I mean, you can find information everywhere on the TV, from the financial professionals, from magazines, on the Internet. I mean, there's so much stuff information there that is like oh what do i do and then you get into this thing called analysis paralysis right where you're overwhelmed and then what happens when people are overwhelmed you do nothing exactly right so three confusing messages from the media right i mean it's so it's so crazy because they tell you that you should be selling everything right now the market is so bad oh okay and then they tell you oh no you should put your all your all your money right here with these big time brokers we're going to take care of you and you're like oh okay so it's like man it's so confusing what they what you should be doing and all this like there's always a guru that's saying one thing and another guy saying a complete opposite thing you're like wow what do i listen to you know so i mean they always tell you yeah yeah you need to have lots of money which is good but they never really tell you how to get it right I mean, you're so busy watching the Kardashians making their money, and but you see how money is nice for them. But do you know how they're actually making money? What are they really doing? And actually, the way they make money is smart, by the way. So, <laughs> and then four is lack of interest, right? I mean, we have this terrible attitude that's like, eh, you know, I'm satisfied, I'm good, you know, I want to go play with my pets, you know, I want to go on vacations, and meanwhile, you're like, savings account is like zero, and you've got nothing set up for the future, 10, 20, 30 years from now. It's like, oh, uh, you know, I, you could talk to, I've talked to a lot of people, you know, a lot of professionals who are in their 40s and 50s, and they would like shake you crazy, telling you, oh, are you crazy? You need to start saving now. This is the, when you're younger, this is the time that they, they wish that they had learned, knew what they knew now, and they'd be saving, investing so much more, you know? And then five, this is interesting is that a lot of young people think that they're just going to get lucky. Like, I read a stat the other said that 21% of people think that they're going to get rich via the lottery. Really? <laughs> really? The lottery? I mean, 11% think that they're going to get rich by some type of special inheritance that's just going to fall in their lap. Really? That's probably why that, on um, the last, um, the last, uh, what was it, the last lottery you had that was like in the billions and so many people were putting their money into that, which has like zero chance of winning. I mean, folks... You're not going to get lucky, all right? If, you're gonna, if you want to be wealthy, if you want to be set in your retirement, if you want to be financially free, you have to take it on yourself. You got to take financial responsibility. You got to take responsibility for yourself. All, this, so, all these reasons, yeah, there are reasons why we have terrible attitudes, but there's no excuse. We have to take the responsibility for ourselves and make things happen. Who are you going to bet on? Bet on yourself bet on you. And it's real simple. Start saving more, right? You're saving your 401k, saving your IRA, start investing in stocks and in index funds. If the, even though stocks is too much, just a simple index fund, putting 10% of your money every month, you know, and some in real estate if you, ha if you have it, and then starting a home-based business, right? It's so simple. You get tax advantages, the extra income that you can make part-time and then use that money to save and invest even more. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to save and invest more. Scratch away these excuses. There are five reasons to have you have a terrible attitude and turn your attitude into a positive one and make something happen for yourself in the next 40, 30, 40 years. You'll be so happy. Your future self will be like, thank you for doing that for us. So, <laughs> so I hope you guys liked it. That's it. If you did, find me on my website, chrisandgia.com. Put your name and email address in. I be sure to send you my free bonus report on seven easy ways that will force you to save more money every month, even if you don't like to. So until then, guys, be blessed. Stay hungry. I'll see y'all later. 
man, that's the end of this Facebook Live.